Welcome. In this video, we will see how S4 HANA Transportation Management handles event and duration based charges. Let us first look at some of the benefits of handling such charges. It allows us to calculate the correct transportation cost for a service based on its actual duration. We can adapt and adjust to changes during transportation execution that influence the freight cost. It increases freight invoice accuracy and automated verification rates. Before we begin, let us explain two essential keywords. An event-based charge is only applied if a specific event occurs and does not usually apply to a freight order. Such events could be, for instance, a delay resulting in additional charges due to unexpected waiting times for the truck driver. A duration-based charge is calculated based on the actual duration of a specific event or service. It can therefore be finally calculated at the end of execution only. Examples of duration-based charges are detention and demurrage. We will now look at a practical example. We already have one existing road freight order. During execution, we experience a delay in the loading. Due to the delay, the carrier is entitled to additional charges. We would like to see this reflected in the charge calculation of the existing freight order. We will perform all activities from the Edit Road Freight Order app in S4 HANA Transportation Management. A look at the existing road freight order shows us that we already have a calculated freight cost of $543.81. It includes freight charge elements such as basic freight based on distance, a 5% fuel surcharge, and a $25 stop-off charge per unloading location. A look at the execution tab of the freight order shows us that loading was supposed to be completed at 8.15 on November 5th. However, due to unforeseen circumstances in the warehouse, loading was completed roughly one hour later. This was registered on the event since we use event management to track the execution of all orders. Since the carrier is entitled to a detention fee per hour, a recalculation was automatically activated, and a detention fee of 50 US dollars was added to the cost charges. As a result, the new total freight costs now add up to 593 US dollars and 81 cents. Let us recap some of the benefits of handling event and duration based charges. It allows us to calculate the correct transportation cost for a service based on its actual duration. We can adapt and adjust to changes during transportation execution that influence the freight cost. It increases freight invoice accuracy and automated verification rates. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this are coming shortly. See you then.